So I want to give you just the heads up that you need some extra time as you're out the door. Here's a look at visibility. These have continued to drop again. If you are in North Hopewell, if you are in Cross Mill, Chansford, Windsor, you do need to be in your safe place. Turns out Danielle Miller was right about that. Mm -hmm. uh, What's this? Turns out she was right. I get the <laughs> forecast right. I wasn't all surprised. The time. <laughs> I didn't say it in the surprise. And as this front pushes through, we've got to watch out for those strong to severe storms. Biggest concern, damaging wind gusts, because you never quite know when they're <laughs> going to bloom. Yes, yeah, it is almost a guessing game. But overall, we are seeing trends where it's coming earlier really? and earlier because of climate change. Yeah. By the time you're getting up Friday morning, we're in the upper 40s, near 50 degrees. We'll be tracking that rain and snow. That Arctic front passes through, temperatures plummet. We're down to 10 degrees by midnight Saturday. We've got temperatures in the 70s on a Friday at the beginning of September. You can't do any better than that. But the main storm that I'm tracking right now is in southern Franklin County approaching Chambersburg. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Franklin and portions of Fulton counties. We're seeing some rain fall overall, though the trend is going to be for the rain to taper off as we go overnight tonight. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. We're getting snow. We're getting snow. <laughs> You've got air traveling over all of Lake Erie, and that just pumps that moisture right onto western New York and, of course, into the Buffalo area. So how does this happen? Why does this happen? Here's the explanation. So, yes, we can verify that there is a link between human-caused climate change and more intense and wetter hurricanes. With your Verify, I'm Danielle Miller. If your car has seat heaters, today's the day to crank them up. It is chilly out there. You need the heavy winter coat. You need the gloves, the hat, the scarf, whatever you need to stay warm. It also is going to be a finally mostly sunny day. So sunglasses where they were needed hit or miss yesterday, they're needed all day today. Here's a live look outside over in Marietta. You can see we've got clear skies. We're starting to see some sunshine. Temperature wise, low to mid 20s right now. There's a little bit of a breeze. So when you factor in that breeze, of course, it feels colder. Wind still coming out of the north anywhere from quiet conditions up to 10 mile per hour breezes in Harrisburg right now and we'll continue with that as we go on into the afternoon and this is what it means it means wind chill values what it feels like to your skin it's in the teens for Harrisburg Lebanon Lancaster and York it feels like the low 20s for the rest of the area as we go into the afternoon it's going to look nice again a lot of sunshine out there temperature wise about where we were yesterday upper 30s to right near 40 degrees we're gonna keep with that cool breeze throughout the day today tonight a few clouds mostly clear skies temperatures back to down into the 20s, 24 degrees as we start your Wednesday morning. So a similar situation there. Here's the latest satellite and radar. Nothing to talk about here at home. The wider view shows our next storm system. Of course, we're talking winter weather. This system looking much more impressive this morning than it did yesterday when it was over the Rockies. We're even talking severe weather in portions of the deep south today. Thankfully for us, we're not talking severe weather. We're talking about a wintry mix, which is still going to be messy in and of itself. Let's time it out for you. As we go through your Wednesday, it's a dry day tomorrow but we will notice those clouds building in ahead of the system and then going into Thursday. We're going to get a little bit of that wintry mix moving in some sleet, some freezing rain, maybe some wet flakes moving on in. And that transitions to rain, especially south and east of Harrisburg pretty quickly. Here's Thursday afternoon. We've got showers to south and east of Harrisburg. We've got a wintry mix north and west. The best chance for accumulating snowfall will be north and west of Harrisburg. And then as we go into Friday morning, everyone transitions to rain and the system pulls on out of here. We are looking drier as we go into your Friday afternoon. So what do you need to know? Wintry mix to rain Thursday to Friday morning. The system is trending a little bit warmer. Of course, that's going to mean more mixing and more rain, especially south of Harrisburg. We are going to watch the afternoon and evening for that freezing rain potential, especially in those higher elevations, which could be impactful, especially if you have any travels through the day on Thursday. So a little bit of a wintry mess for your Thursday and early Friday, and then we do clear things out into the weekend. So if you have weekend plans, the weather's not going to hold you back. It's just going to be pretty chilly. Highs near 40. We keep a breeze and it looks like we do stay dry into next Monday.